Yeah. All right. All right. Let's get started. Can, can you open? I have no idea. All right. Perfect. There we go. Yep. Whoa. Oh, it's probably on here somewhere, but I don't know what the buttons oh, yeah, are. Yeah, how'd you that's right. That's right. Oh, okay. Studio mode and scene C transitions. Change. Those are probably the two that we actually okay, have to yeah. know. All right, but anyway. Ridley versus Pike. Streamers. Burrito. We're, we're professional. I don't touch the deck, man. No, I don't either. <laughs> it scares me. I just know some basics on OBS. Starting out on PS2, I hope we see a lot of nares this set. I want to see Cause I want to see a down throw pin. I will I will pop off. A down throw what? Pin. Where, uh, oh, skewer. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Skewer. yeah. I caught yeah. I've been hit by that many a time. Oh yeah. And with the, with the changes to it, whenever it got changed, it's like a grab. So you don't get the cutscene if you do the down throw. Interesting. And it, it confuses people. It's pretty funny. I, I actually didn't know it works like that way now. But anyway, yeah. uh, well, like I was saying, both of these characters, really good nares. Uh, I'd possibly top five in the game. I know Ridley's is ridiculous, and Ike's gives him just so much uh, benefits. It, it's one of his main neutral tools, and it just covers so much range. There's a chart that's like uh, Nair, fuck you, or Mash, and both of these characters are at the top of Nair. Mm -hmm. Yeah, that, make, that makes sense. I play. I played against. Uh, I play a mash. Oh, and the Nair in the back air from Steve. Yeah. Nice. So the, the thing about Ike is the back hit of Nair actually does not send you as high as the front hit. So uh, when Ike got his like change in the patch, he kind of lost Nair up air, but it's still true if you hit the back hit. And that, okay. that's one of those things coming through. He got the back hit in Nair and was able to get the back air off of it. I see. That's really good game knowledge. Mm -hmm. I know Jaden has resident Ridley player knowledge. <laughs> oh yeah, dude. I've played a lot of Ridley, and and to say a lot is understating it. So. I actually do really like this character. He's cool. Except like, when he uh, foot dives me off stage and then kills me at 20. Sometimes I'll play Ridley that. and I'll just nair and I'll just be like, oh, I'm so much better than you. <laughs> <laughs> he really is. He's, he's like a. He's just kind of a fundamental check, you know? Mm -hmm. He's good. I think he's really solid. He's got some, like, pretty good tilts. I, I he think, his, space really I think well. his weaknesses are just pretty, pretty big. With how light he is and how big he is. Yeah. His that, big and light. so big. And then. A lot of his stuff is very committal on whiff. Not on hit, but or, or shield, but on whiff, they're yeah. really committal. He's got a bit of lag, but I'm not going to knock him for weight and size because Rob is, That's true too. is yeah. big and light, and he's so good. So. But yeah, we saw Nair at Smash World Tour. He, uh, he was doing a lot uh, in terms of... He, he wasn't all playing just Ridley, but whenever he pulled out Ridley, he put on a show. Yeah, yeah, one of the one of the things about Ridley is uh, if he's off stage and staying at the same level of the ledge, you have to respect him because if he goes for that side B, there's it, it's very possible that you might die off it depending on depending on how far you go down. That was a good Maybe. auto cancel landing. Oh, oh. I think he was he thrown for like a parry or something. I, I'm or? not sure to be honest. I I think he was just trying to like react shield it. Because I yeah. think he, he might have been scared that if he held shield, it might have gotten broken. I don't know how much shield damage that does, but it looks like it could do a lot. It doesn't do a whole lot. Right, I believe it. Yeah. Even fully charged, like it's not gonna, it's not gonna pop it or anything. Yeah. Still super doable for a character like Ridley, though. Ridley, yeah, uh, like very he, strong. he can find the kill if he gets the right hit, and then just racking up damage. I, I don't know how Ridley does against Ike though, because like I said, both the Nairs are brutal oh. in their matchups. It's but not a fun matchup. I feel like Ike just does better because he has more range because of the sword. Yeah. And Ridley's, Ridley's Nair I don't think deals with Ike's. Ridley's like main hope in this matchup is getting Ike is off stage and then gimping them. Oh, just barely not en either not enough rage and just not enough percentage on Steven. Oh. The quick draw went through him. Yep. Yeah, at some point, I don't know like how long it lasts frame-wise, but uh, once it deactivates, you just go flying. And uh, it's very punishable, but... Oh, Red Tech dies off the side from the upbeat. 112%. Uh, yeah, he really needs to get him off stage and just go for a game. Yeah. He can't be taken oh, but that's like definitely that. not impossible. <gasps> Ooh. Oh, the eruption whiffs. I was actually scared. Yeah, if he if he bonked a bit earlier in that's that. Oh, no grab. Ooh, He's dead. He's dead. Good. Yep. With new changes, that, that kills at maybe like 80. Yeah, especially on Ridley. Ridley's a light boy. All right, but game one going to GNDC. Let me update that real quick. Yeah. But the thing is, Burrito was keeping that really close. Oh yeah. He like th this is this is not an over matchup. Like he has game two to fall back on. He he has game three. He can play if he takes the game two. And I I think it's very doable for Burrito. Yeah. And then there was also those missteps like where he was just he took the side B, 
Uh, he took some bad trades, mm -hmm. which uh, if, he, if he recognizes those, he can definitely adapt his yeah. gameplay. If, if he knows how to like snuff out Ike for like the Nairs or whatever landing option he's going for, like he'll be in a much better position. I don't know how good Ridley is at doing that per se, but, but, but I think Ridley can definitely pull this back. Ooh, the double, the triple roll. The triple roll. The sacred tech. Oh, a Nair out of the Nair combo. Oh, he doesn't, he doesn't punish the Witch option with a grab. Oh, Ooh, so the, the fair punish. calling the jump. For jab there, one of those misinput. Oh, oh, the, oh, 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 Man, I left at the worst time. No, it you just came got back. Back. <laughs> back at, at the DBZ moment. So it's it's one of my favorite things. <laughs> Dang, that Not up air almost landing. killed. Yeah, Ike's up air is brutal. Is, oh, if he lands in there, it's possible he could die here? I don't know. Um, Depends how high he gets sent, I guess. <gasps> oh, he just rolls past the eruption. Oh, Not and bad trade. trade. Not the trade Steve taking the lead here. Yeah, you gotta be careful trade with Ike at high percents. He's mm -hmm. not gonna go your way. If they're out of the corner, I like it. Tech chase, quick draw. Air conversion? That's his jump. Oh wait, how many it's, jumps did really I have? I think he has three total, maybe four. Okay. I've played the character, i played against Ridley so much and I still can't answer that question. Mm -hmm. Every time I think he's out, he has another one. Yeah. <laughs> I feel like any character with multi-jump has either three- Ooh! Very nice. Great game. This tech from Steve. I don't even know if he was alive if he teched that, to be honest. With the angle he got sent out, that was pretty yeah. brutal for Ike. He might have been, or at very least been able to catch Burrito before he got back to stage. That's true too, in. I didn't think of that. But yeah, when a character has multiple jumps, I just assume it's either three jumps or five jumps. Okay. Because I, I don't think I've seen a character with any different. Oh, dang. With the dash there. Not killing center stage, though. Ridley... We, we, we've been saying he's light for his size, but he's still pretty heavy, all things considered. Yeah, he's not Pichu. Weaving past the grab there from Burrito. Ooh. He's gotta be careful. He can't be inside beams like that. Good, yeah. just shield him in an air. <gasps> oh, he was going for something there, but the, the range the on the back air was gonna take it there. I don't know if that was down smash or F smash, but... I think it, it was down smash. Mm -hmm. Could be wrong, but... Down throw up air. <gasps> oh, that would have done it too. Yeah. yeah. Oh, that was there. Yeah, they're just getting getting full stage back from the Ridley. And yep, Gotta be careful those, those uppies are really laggy. And if you see them coming, they're easy to punish. Yep, just give them off stage. <gasps> yeah. that oh, okay. <laughs> it didn't oh, spike. I, I, I thought. I, he got yeah. robbed of the spike, bro. He still got the kill, though. Yeah. So Steve's going to be taking that 2-0 over Burrito. And that was a good set to watch, Nicely honestly. Done. I liked it. <laughs> I think the uh, I, I think Burrito played very well. Uh, and Steve, of course, did too. Burrito just needed to capitalize a little bit more on uh, getting Steve off stage Because he did a couple times. He just didn't have the correct uh, or the correct coverage of his option mm -hmm. to fully like stuff him out. 